All right, today is the day I am going to demonstrate Adobe Fresco. So I'm starting out with opening up the app. And it's very much like any of the cloud-based um, applications. Now you have a library of work that you've made in the past. We'll come up and I'm going to start out with a new letter size document, eight and a half by 11. Just here you will see the ability to make new layers by hitting the plus sign. Or I can access the layer actions. And in this case, I'm gonna delete that layer because I made an extra layer that I didn't want. This actually turns things on and off, a little eyeball. And that'll become more apparent once we get some more layers going. And then that's just the layer action in general you can access without actually accessing a layer. Bring in a photo of a sketchbook page. So I hit photo, accesses the photos on my drive of the iPad. And I'm gonna select this image right here. So now it's loading this image out of my sketchbook. And I'm pinching the screen and while I'm pinching, I'm kind of rotating so I have some access to um, this document. So I've got this placed. I'm going to roughly size this up a little bit more. I'm going to hit done up in the right hand corner and drag this to the left and make it a little less opaque because I'm going to use this as a guiding layer for my drawing. I like that, where that's going. You can see it's pretty grayed out at this point. And I'm gonna move this layer down below that clear layer or the new layer. And then I'm going to click on this. And I'm just gonna lock the layer so I don't actually draw on it. Going over here to the left, and I'm gonna, this top row are pixel brushes. And right now, you have quite a few brushes to choose from. I've also brought some brushes in towards the bottom, um, different brushes from different manufacturers. There's some Kyle brushes, some other brushes I brought in. I'm gonna to go to my favorites and I've added some to my favorites. The one right now that I'm really using a lot is the Sean, which is kind of roughly based off of the artist. And I'm just going to start to draw. At this point, I'm pretty much finished with that underdrawing, that layer. And now I'm gonna come back in and size this because it's a little too close to the edge. So I'm going to select the transform tool and just pinch it down a little bit. And I'm gonna switch over to a different brush and there's one that has kind of a cross-hatching feel, like an old engraving. It's called the Predator. And I'm going to start playing around with this brush. It feels a little bit big, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to adjust the size a little bit. Take that down. Now it's time to work on some color. 
So I'm going to select the color on the left hand side, the color wheel, and move it around until I find a color that I like. I think I'm going to go with the blue at this point. And then I'm going to create a new layer for my color to keep it separate from my black line. At this point, I'm going to look for a new brush. So I'm going to scroll through my brushes and see what I want to use. I'm going to select a watercolor spatter brush and I'm going to go in and just loosen up some of those edges uh, from the previous brush that I was playing around with. Just kind of exploring. I like seeing if I can kind of emulate some of that watercolor feel. And then I'm going to go back and select a new color. it's time to apply a background to this image and I selected a large brush to block that in. At this point I want to make a new layer and start playing around with some hand lettering. I feel like I could uh, explore some lettering with this piece so I'm going to start drawing it out and I really have no idea what I'm doing at this point but the piece, the color felt a little bit like spring uh, looking at the figure kind of emerging from that garment it feels like maybe flowers or nature coming to life in the spring so I'm going to go with that. I've selected the word spring. I've used that with the selection tool that's on the left. And after I've made my selection, I'm going to duplicate my selection so that I can make a copy of the word spring because I'm going to then take it and change the color and use it as a drop shadow. So I'm going to then lock the transparency so then when I apply a brush to it, I can then change that color without uh, impacting the surrounding area around it. If you have a number of layers that you want to include together, you can actually group the layers by dragging the uppermost layer and dragging it on top of the layer below it, and then it forms its own layer group. So now as I look at the background of this piece, I decide I want to put a pattern into it. So I'm going to put a spring themed pattern in the background.
this concludes my demo on Adobe Fresco. Thanks for watching.